What's up everyone? This is Kenny here from Property Stories and today I'm at Jalan Kasi Pili, Jalan Ipoh actually, off Jalan Ipoh. Um, today we're going to check out the birch in Jalan Ipoh. Let's go! Okay, I'm here. Parking is done. This is done. So now I'm heading to the parking. My parking is designated at level 2. Uh. So it's one way when you go in, but it's two way uh, to go out. Hand over office on my left. Let's see where's the. Oh, okay, I can see. Level 2. It's going up here. Quite narrow, uh, this. Now for one car. So you must careful drive. Shit. So I'm at level one. Oh, this is B3. It's level one. Going up to level two, which is the visitor parking is. I'm at the visitor parking, level 2 of the birch. So the parking, the height there is not bad. I mean, not low, not high. I've seen lower. I've seen higher also. And it's well lit. Okay. So yes, designated here all the visitors parking. The best part is that I get the parking right. It's like here, right here. <laughs> and this parking, should we go down? One thing good is that I actually can get exit out lah. And the same, park, the parking also, the same road also where people will come up so I need to be careful. So let's go and check out the place. Parking at level 2, there's 3 lift for me to choose from. I'm at the lobby of block A, ground floor. So let's go check out the place. Lobby or block A. So when you come in using your access card, this is the reception guard house. Reception and that's the lift to the units. Sorry, guard house is outside. Lobby or block A. So when you come in using your access card, this is the reception guard house. Reception and that's the lift to the units. Sorry, guard house is outside. This is the lobby of block A. It's a simple lobby, nothing much here. So you wait here for your friends or, or going up and that's the lift to the units. Of course you register here first. Ah. That road is the road just now I pass to go out the parking. Okay. So when you come in this road, you will see both of the blocks. This is block A and of course there will exit there. And one more here is block B. Okay. Plus that's the handover office and also the rack for you to put things lah. Delivery I guess. Let me take a closer look. Yes, food delivery, parcel delivery, these are all for block A and B. Ah. I think this is the parking. Then behind there you can see it's motorbike parking. Ah. These are for the residents. Some of them will have the privilege of having a ground floor parking. Which is, you see? The ceiling is so high, very airy, very nice. From the guard house, you enter. You notice, right, the birch right, doesn't have any retail components below. So, but it's okay. Right opposite, uh, you can see these rows of shops. You have everything here. You have for food, hotel, uh, other, and this is Putra Majestic, I see. Putra Majestic also has a service apartment up here. Smart Santa Maria and you have all the food that you want, that you need. There are also grocery, clinic, everything at convenience. The exit right, the gate, exit. Walk this on this pavement. 
on this pavement you go right up all the way up there up you reach the MRT station okay now I'm trying to walk to the MRT if it's a hot weather goodbye my baby goodbye okay if you have heard the Korean song <laughs> So this is the walk that you're going to take if you're in MRT. Uh, side here is a public park here. Okay, children's playground. But if you want to walk, this is how long you need to walk. And frankly speaking, if it's really hot, really hot though. Uh, and here, you get the river here. Too bad you can't smell. I can smell the river from here. <laughs> Okay, here we are at level 8. This is the facility, first floor with the facility. There's one lift, one fire lift, two lift, three lift. So one floor is served by three lift and one fire lift. Let's go and take a look at the facilities. This entrance is from block B and this is the swimming pool here. Let's go and take a look, alright? Right off the bat, you push. Okay, here's a swimming pool. And on the right, block B. Uh, from block B, you will see the gym. Okay. So, requires access card as usual. Let's go and take a look at the gym. Pool. Okay, this is a huge gym. Uh. Huge. And you have the uh, weights here. You have the uh, Weights, you have, whoa, okay, this is something different, ropes, these ropes, something different. Okay, treadmill, treadmill, okay, where you face, uh? okay, face the river. The river. Can you see this the road here, this small road I'm pointing at? This is the road uh, will lead to the MRT. Okay? Just now I gave you an uh, eye level view, now it's a bird's eye view. Go down some more. Behind this building is the LRT station. Okay, bench press, everything, the chair. Dumbbells of various sizes. Okay, this, this one I've not seen. Usually it's this set. But they have a small one here. Dumbbells of various sizes, man. So smallest is one kilo. Lateral pull down. Okay, we are at the swimming pool. Beautiful swimming pool. And the swimming pool is actually shared by two blocks. Uh. Yeah, two blocks here. This is block B and that is block A. This pool, infinity pool, come down. Okay, this is the part. Oh, you can actually go down from here for staircase. I think that's maintenance though. You're not supposed to go down. This uh, facility deck is actually quite small. Uh. Expected because the development is also not that big. So let's take on this right left side here is actually the place where you can sit down, relax, chill. We're going to take a look at this later. Now, now let's just go take a look at pool first. Let me take you a walk. Okay, that is the multi purpose hall. It's a place to rest after you are uh, swim. There also you can rest under the sun if you don't want to sunbathe there. But if you want to sunbathe, I personally will sit down there. <laughs> okay. That is uh, children's, the children's side of the pool. It's, it's going to be fun to the kids, I guess. Definitely going to be fun. Now I'm going to the other side. Okay, we have a function room, standard uh, function room. 
this function room you can rent as usual and also do your activities uh, maybe AGM empty space oh okay there is a swing there you can see quite romantic uh. sit down at night park tall or something like that there's a barbecue pit on the left barbecue pit swing okay here is the yoga deck we have the yoga deck so you can do your yoga or do you yoga enthusiasts imagine putting your yoga mat here doing some yoga pose for your instagram you know how instagrammable it is you instantly get a lot of followers man three decks for you okay and this is where you go to the swimming pool it's where you go down here is shower and you can also go down from here lah. this is the children's side of the pool and this is the shower for the children okay this is the playground children's playground <laughs> all the things that you used to do as a kid as a seesaw and it, oh they even have these huh? you know they can just go around Sun, let me try. Yep. Cycle. The kids can cycle and go around and around. You get a headache after a while. Remember, it reminds me of the teacup that you play in Genting Highlands, you know? There's the, the seesaw, slides, the standard one. People have small, small climbing rope. Okay, this one. Okay, this one is new. Looks like a trampoline, a mini trampoline. Here's a laundry room, but at the moment it's not open. I'm not sure when it will open. This is about it. See, the facilities are minimal and basic. That's the multi purpose hall. The entrance, remember, is in front. So, this is open space here. You can sit down here, relax, chat. Now at level 36, so 36, those are units here. Unfortunately, no directory. One floor looks like got 11 units. So here's a corridor, corridor quite wide. You can make a easily king size bed, can go through no problem. It's an air well here, so it's well lit. It's an air well. To the left. Okay, it's all the pipe things and all electricity and the refuse area. Refuse area is also quite small, so it's got light. Yeah. Tap. No place to wash. But uh, okay, there's this. Nowadays, I noticed the, they use this kind of uh, blinders. Uh, you, you air it so you don't have no need for a suction to on. Save money, save electricity. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at a corner unit. Uh. The corner unit, the size is 68 square feet. It has two rooms, two bathrooms. So each floor, right, there's a special unit and this is a privilege to get to see a corner unit. Let's take a look at how the unit looks like, alright? First up, you'll notice right, the tile, uh, the colour of the tile is different. And this is a special tile for the corner unit only. Okay, let's take a look at the unit. The moment you come in, Okay, this is the hall. Huh? This unit has no balcony. The plug points are all there. It comes with one aircon. And on the left, standard a kitchen, kitchen sink. And this is the yard here. Look at the yard. You have the yard for your washing machine. Tap is there. Hose is down there. Power point is there. So it's a standard small yard lah, for your washing machine and dry cleaning. Dryer, sorry, dry cleaning pula. Then there's also a plug point here. So your TV you can put here, TV and internet are all here. TV, internet, then you can put a sofa here. Sofa here, maybe you have a small light there. Light, because it's a plug point. Okay, so this corner unit, right? What you can do is, what you can see, sorry, what you can do, what you can see. Is this? Can you see this? This one, right? If it's, it's supposed to be a wall, right, on the spot here, yeah? but the developer, since it's a corner unit, it gives you a mirror here. Mirror here, you have a beautiful view of the city. No balcony, ah. Eh? That's the icon ledge. So this is the view of the city. Sometimes balcony, no balcony actually got the advantage also. Lah. This advantage and advantage, no balcony and balcony. Let's take a look at the rooms. Lah. So the rooms, when you come in, this is all the rooms here. Straight, you will see the master room. You can see the bathroom here. On the right side is the second room. Remember, there's only two rooms, two bathrooms. Lah. So this is the bathroom. Oh, the tiles not bad, are very nice. I like the color. So the fittings are all done. Fittings are all done. As usual, I just need to add shower screen and also the bathroom mirror and you're done. So let's take a look at the room first. This room here, small one. Uh, it's enough for a queen size bed or maybe a single bed. Lah. Queen size can, lah, can fit. Oh, icon, the only one icon is given in the hall, huh? so, but the, the piping is done, huh? so you can just put the icon. This is master bedroom. Alright, it's master bedroom. Master bedroom is given also one icon, one icon in the master room, one icon in the hall. And this is how the master room looks like. It's not much difference, not much bigger than the second room though. I think because the, the toilet here taking up the space uh, you know, you'll be, if you imagine the toilet is not here it's actually a very big room so this is the toilet same one as you get just now you still need to put a bathroom mirror and maybe a shower screen you want to can put, you can put here a shower screen okay? so you prevent the water from coming out That's all we have for the Birch property tour today. I'm in Jalan Ipoh. So today is a short tour. The development is a small development. And what I like is that it's really, it's, the developer actually developed a practical and minimalist focus. Uh. You can see right, there's not much of the facilities, not much of the, the funny, funny designs, but the 
basics uh, are there. The basics like gym, like a swimming pool, these are all there. Amenities around, right opposite the birch, you will see a lot of shop houses. Walk down in shop houses. Then walk further down, you have an MRT, MRT station. MRT is underground. Huh? But the only thing that I see some of the things that I might not, it may not be some, my cup of tea, it would be the walk to MRT. Imagine uh, under hot sun, if you were to walk uh, in the hot weather, it's not practical. It's not covered walkway and cannot, cannot walk. By the time you reach there, you'll be drenched in sweat. So if you are staying in the birch and working elsewhere and depend on MRT, you may need to leave early before the sun comes up and come back when the it gets cooler. You may want to hang out in the office or hang out nearby in your office first and come back about 7, 8 like that. So if you like the video, the tour, do subscribe to the channel for more some videos on real estate, personal finance and also sales, right? On financing as well, I do talk on financing as well and there'll be more videos like this. So that's all for now. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. I'll see you again next video. Bye-bye.